I'm on? OK. Hello, everyone. I'm Dolly Wu. I'm the general manager of Inspur Cloud Data Center Division in the US. Uh, just a little bit about Inspur. Um, we have been around since 1945. And uh, today, we have over 26,000 employees worldwide. And our fiscal 2015 revenue is $9.8 billion. Our fiscal 2016 numbers will be coming, uh, coming out at the end of March, which is our fiscal year end. Uh, so Inspur has four business groups, the Cloud Data Center Group, the Cloud Big Data Group, uh, Software and Integration Group, and the Enterprise Software Group. And all these um, different groups are traded on the stock exchanges in Shenzhen, Hong Kong, and Shanghai. And uh, Inspur is a global company, and we are doing business in 104 countries with 26 branch offices worldwide and five major manufacturing centers worldwide. Um, today, we are shipping, uh, we, we have the capacity to build a b million uh, servers annually worldwide. And uh, in Silicon Valley, we started our operations in 2015 and currently shipping a run rate of about 12,000 to 15,000 servers per month. So according to Gartner, Inspur maintains the top five position as the top five worldwide largest server vendor, and we're number one in China. Um, according to Gunner, um, Inspire is also the fastest growing server vendor in the world. And if you look at the chart, uh, in 2016, both uh, Dell and um, Lenovo, Cisco, and HP had negative growth in 2016, whereas Inspire had top growth, 28%. And we will continue that dynamic. So much about Inspire. So for today's topic, we are going to focus on the open data center projects that are available today. And uh, the largest one, of course, you're all here for it, OCP, which is started by Facebook in 2011. And right around the same time, the BAT companies, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent, also started a uh, similar project in China called ODCC uh, for a uh, Scopio project. And uh, Intel also opened up their um, RSA design, uh, rack scale design, in 2014 for software-defined data center solutions. And IBM also contributed their designs and opened up open power for the community to uh, develop uh, different types of systems based on open power. And two new projects came out last year in 2016. And uh, these new projects, a LinkedIn Open 19 uh, started uh, a brand new open standard for, um, for different manufacturers to design server building blocks that would fit into 19 inch rack mount form factor for server storage and uh, networking. And then uh, towards the end of 2016 uh, in October, Microsoft um, contributed uh, the project Olympus. Uh, to OCP to compete with uh, AWS, uh, Amazon, uh, Google, so they can get uh, ODMs and OEMs to uh, contribute their designs, uh, their building blocks uh, in an early stage during the development process for Microsoft Cloud servers so Microsoft can get access to lower cost cloud server platforms at uh, volume and also have uh, manufacturers compete for their business. Um, so Inspur is actually contributing and joining all of these open server projects. So Inspur currently is the number one vendor for ODCC Scopio project uh, deployments in uh, China. So over 60% of all of the hyperscale deployments in China are by Inspur. And into all these tier one cloud data centers in many different industries, uh, like banking, finance, e-commerce, internet, um, uh, just to name a few, government, uh, even uh, train ticketed systems. Um, so we actually deploy over 85% of the uh, rack scale servers into Baidu's data centers, and 60% of 
uh, Alibaba's uh, rack scale servers are also deployed by Inspire. And uh, the reason that these cloud operators are using the platform is because they can deploy 15 times faster than using conventional rack mount servers. And the energy consumption is much lower, reduced by 15%. The density is much higher. Uh, and the TCO reduces by uh, over 15, uh, over um, 12%. And then the failure rate also much lower, 50% lower. So INSPA joined OCP community as a platinum member earlier this year in January 2017. And our goal is to innovate and to contribute server building blocks into the OCP community. And we also want to leverage our experience in deploying ODCC Scopio to help OCP gain adoption here in the US. And we also want to leverage our ability to deploy into different industry segments and different workloads and different applications and emerging business, uh, emerging uh, cloud services. And we also want to be the leader in um, converging and bridging the gap between all the different open platforms and develop server building blocks that would actually fit into all these different types of open platforms. And uh, today you already heard from OCP community the announcement on Tiago, Tiago Pass, uh, the uh, open rack version two. Um, so Inspire developed an OCP motherboard that actually is compliant with Tiago Pass chassis, but a little bit different from the Tiago Pass motherboard. Uh, we want to make it a little different so we can offer this as a great um, addition to the portfolio for other uses, uh, use cases other than Facebook. So um, with our motherboard design, you can actually fit it into a 1OU form factor or 2OU form factor. And in addition, you get two M.2 uh, SSDs from Mirror OS instead of just one. And then we also use AccuLink connector instead of AirMax connector on our board uh, because that will allow some use cases where customers actually want to connect PCI resources through CPU 0 and CPU 1 instead of just CPU 0. So uh, let's take a quick look at the product lines that are available from Inspire for Open Rack version 2. Uh, so for 2OU, we have four SKUs. So depending on the number of drives that you need or the number of add-on cards that you need, you can have up to six uh, SSDs in, uh, in one uh, sled, or you can have um, uh, up to three add-on card slots in, um, in the uh, sled. And the... Um, one U platform, um, so you can actually have three nodes across one OU for much higher density for HPC applications. And in both the two OU and the one OU form factor, uh, we also support FPGA. Um, we also introducing a three OU JBot solution with six, up to 64 hot swap drives in three OU. So there will be four uh, sleds and each sled has 16 drives that are swappable. And so um, Insper is also contributing into OCS designs for Microsoft uh, Project Olympus. So uh, we have a four socket uh, server uh, for OCS uh, in 2U. So we are one of two manufacturers who are capable of offering a four socket solution for OCS. And Inspire is also currently the number one uh, vendor for four socket servers worldwide. Um, so with all the uh, previous um, uh, projects that you saw before for OCP, OCS, uh, ODCC, all those projects are meant for scaling up, for cloud deployments rapid scaling. Uh, scaling out, sorry. And then, um, but there are many in the digital economy, there are many new applications and new ways of doing business like AI, uh, deep learning neural networks, uh, machine learning, uh, driverless car, 
which would require much higher, dense, um, higher performance servers and very intense compute and GPU solutions that consume a lot of power. So in those cases, we need to introduce solutions that can scale up as well as scale out. Uh, so we have been working with a lot of industry leaders and partners to come up with solutions to solve these types of problems. Also, according to Gartner, uh, in the data center, millions of servers are actually underutilized. So uh, they are only operating at 10 to 15 uh, percent of capacity. So there's a lot of ways in the data center where resources are not being utilized. And when you are dealing with these very um, heavy duty applications, uh, you can't really afford to waste. And then when you scale, it's very difficult to scale globally. No, you're no longer just scaling locally, you're scaling globally. So we come up with um, Intel together. Uh, the, we designed the InCloud rack together with Intel RSD rack scale design for a software defined data center solution that can scale up as well as scale out. So in a, uh, a fully integrated rack solution where you have uh, integrated um, management, power, cooling at the rack level, and um, you can actually put dual socket, four socket, and eight socket servers into this rack scale. And then we use Intel RSD to create pools of resources, uh, pools of compute, pools of storage, pools of networking, so you can actually use our in-cloud OS, which is an in-house developed uh, cloud operating system by Inspur, to actually assign the resources and um, dynamically create the bare metal server that you need throughout your data center. And then uh, the in-cloud OS, it's actually also compatible with multiple virtualization engines, uh, like the vSphere, uh, VMware vSphere, uh, KVM, the Zen, um, so different types of environments uh, for hardware, x86, ARM, or open power, power, uh, so all these resources can be managed from one single point, uh, uh, one single uh, pane of glass uh, using the in-cloud OS. So now you, you can dynamically manage your pool of hardware as well as software resources, and then you can see where the workloads are and where the application needs more workload. You can dynamically move the resources to applications that need more workload and decrease the workload on the ones that don't need as much resources. That way you can leverage your data center resources and reduce costs overall. And we also work with um, Liquid on a uh, simple solution for composable infrastructure for software-defined hardware infrastructure. Um, so um, we have a live demo in a booth with the Liquid CI uh, management software where you have a PCIe fabric switch that connects all of the hardware resources in your rack and so you can dynamically configure the, um, the uh, physical bare metal uh, server that you need from the pools of compute, pools of storage, and pools of networking. So now, in, if you need more um, uh, networking resources in your bare metal server, you can grab from the pool of resources dynamically on demand and stand up your data center very, very quickly, and then there's no waste of resource utilization in your infrastructure. So this is a great platform, a total solution out of the box for cloud operators who actually want to have the ability to deploy quickly and to uh, have their resource pool available and uh, compete quicker with their competition. So uh, to give you a couple of case studies, Alibaba, um, does everyone know about the single day in China? November 11? So it's very similar to the Cyber Monday in uh, the US, but it's at much larger scale. So one single day of transactions in 2016, November 11, was $17.8 billion. That is a huge amount. 
and the number of transactions, number of orders is 175,000 orders per second. And that's how they can arrive at $17.8 billion in one single day. And with this kind of e-commerce transaction, you need to have a fail-proof infrastructure where there's no failure. So even if you fail for one second, you're losing 175,000 orders. That is huge. So that is why Alibaba is using the Inspur Rack Scale Server SR as their backbone to support this huge um, transaction volume. And then another uh, case study is with Baidu. So with Baidu, uh, Inspur is the largest vendor for uh, servers for Baidu, and we work very closely with Baidu um, for all types of solutions, including uh, AI, deep learning, neural networks, also their driverless car. And uh, with Baidu's experience, uh, we proved that with a rack scale platform, um, they, we, in 2016, we had a record of deploying 10,000 servers in one single day. And when compared to traditional wrap mount servers, the deployment was only 300 to 500 servers a day. So that's a huge difference between the deployment speed. So in the internet digital economy, you have to be able to be, uh, to spin up your cloud quicker. You have to do things faster to win over your competition. You need to be able to scale faster. You need to be able to maintain your data center at the most optimal efficiency and the, the, the best uh, uh, total cost of ownership. So, um, and then we are also working with uh, Baidu on 48 volt architectures where they can leverage these very high end um, artificial intelligence projects and then be able to have the power and density that they need to deploy uh, quickly. So with that, I am done with my presentation. Um, if you are interested in learning more about Inspur's rack scale platforms, please visit our booth for number four. We have the entire solution for rack scale on display, and then we can also give you the live demo. Um, and yeah, any questions? Not, that's it. Thank you.